Hey guys, so here's the scissor kick abs, okay? So we wanna make sure that we're laying flat on the ground. Um, our hands are going to be either by our sides or underneath our butt. I always say for people to put them underneath their bottom because it helps to even out this curve in the lower back, okay? And you keep the head elevated to increase the difficulty. If you have to have your head down, you can, but I always say if you can elevate your head, that's going to help you to contract the upper part of your abdominal muscle even more. So you're gonna start with your, both your legs straight, and then one leg drops down to about a couple inches above the floor so that you have this nice 90 degree angle, and then you just switch, okay? So if you feel like you don't have the flexibility in your leg that is up because maybe your hamstrings are a little bit tight, just reduce the, the range of motion here, okay? The important part is to make sure that when you switch your legs, hold it there for a second. Otherwise, we kind of just start to like flop around and um, it's not working the core in the same type of contraction um, as you would if you just stop, hold it, squeeze versus using your momentum, okay? So you just switch, 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 and that's the scissor kick.